हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अवर चैनल खत्री स्टेनो सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल फॉर मोर डिक्टेशन ऑन डेली बेसिस गेट रेडी फॉर द डिक्टेशन द रिमार्क ऑन नॉर्थ इंडियन स्टेट्स मेड बाय ऑफ पार्लियामेंट इन द लोकसभा सिंस एक्सपंज फ्रॉम द रिकॉर्ड्स वाज अनवर्थी ऑफ अ लॉ मेकर टू स्पीक डिस्परेजिंगली ऑफ फेलो बींग्स फॉर देयर बिलीव फूड हैबिट्स और कल्चरल प्रैक्टिस इज नथिंग शॉर्ट ऑफ बिगोटरी पोलिटिकल प्रेफरेंसेज वारी फ्रॉम रीजन टू रीजन इन अ वास्ट कंट्री सच एज इंडिया देर आर वेरियस इम्बेलेंसेज इन दिस वास्ट लैंडस्केप फॉर इंस्टांस इन टर्म्स ऑफ लिटरेसी एंड एजुकेशन नेचुरल रिसोर्स असेस टू ट्रेड रूट्स एंड डेमोग्राफिक कंपोजिशन these imbalances also reflect in the country's political and economic structures some regions are more advanced economically while some others have a higher capacity to influence the political course of the country imbalances apart there is vast diversity in india in terms of religion language culture and culinary habits nation makers grappled with these challenges of imbalances and diversity to set in motion the consolidation of the most diverse and most populated democratic country on the planet while india has made significant progress in addressing these imbalances and managing the diversity any honest appraisal would have to account for the unfinished tasks at hand regional identities and imbalances are not to be brushed under the carpet or forced into silence unless the attempt is to create an authoritarian country the mp apologized for his unwarranted comments and so did his party that episode should now be laid to rest his comments were in the context of the bhartiya janata party's victory in the three hindi speaking states of madhya pradesh rajasthan and chatisgarh while telangana voted for the congress suggesting a divergence between the northern and southern states in political preferences India has had ruling parties and coalitions of different regional compositions but the north by virtue of having a larger share of the population has had a bigger say in the country's governance the suggestion of an invidious north south divide is baseless and dangerous while the issue of multiple imbalances is legitimate and real the states in the south and west are go- growing faster economically while those in the north and east are growing faster in population these trends need to be reconciled in a manner that helps the progress of the country rather than becoming a source of acrimony development outcomes also vary across religious and caste communities in particular regions There is also a danger that these challenges can accelerate with the impending nation-wide delimitation of Lok Sabha constituencies and the growing gaps in development between regions and communities. These questions of imbalances cannot be left unaddressed. It is essential that these discussions are informed and respectful and devoid of any prejudice and hostility.